This video is sponsored by Trugo Republic, the precious metals experts. Talk to one of their experts today about diversifying your portfolio to help assure your future financial security. Find their contact information in the description below and pinned in our first comment. James Kaufman, World News Report today, May 11, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been in a geomagnetic storm, a very strong one now, for around just over 24 hours. NOAA's estimated planetary KP index has indicated that we've been in a G4 or G5 geomagnetic storm for the past 24 hours, and we're actually going to get an update here in less than one hour that will summarize the solar wind and plasma for the last three-hour period. To summarize, NOAA's estimated planetary KP index indicates that we've been in a G4 geomagnetic storm for 18 of the last 24 hours, and we've also enjoyed a G5 geomagnetic storm for at least nine out of the last 24 hours. What I'd like to show you is that these KP9s actually go off the charts, if you will, and it could be a lot worse than we're seeing because that is the end of the road as the model does not go any further. We have not had a G5 geomagnetic storm since September of 2003. We may have to redo this model again and include a KP10 and 11 and a G6 and G7. All right, headed over to Ghost X-ray Flux, one minute data, taking a look at today's solar activity as far as solar flares. We started the day off with this X 5.89 solar flare. Very, very strong and definitely has an Earth component based on what we see on Lasco C3 which you will see in just one moment. That was followed up by an X 1.5 solar flare, followed by an M 8.7 solar flare. So we've had plenty of activity thus far today already, including that X 5.89 solar flare that is said to have produced the largest coronal mass ejection thus far. Head over to Space Weather Live. We see our current baseline is a C5.98. 24 hour max is that X5.89 solar flare. It's also the 72 hour max. We have a 99% chance of C flares, which they're not even recording anymore because we're running M baseline, at least most of the time. We have a 95% chance of an M-class solar flare, and that ship sailed. We have a 75% chance of an X-class solar flare, and that ship sailed. You can see the 5.89 here at a sunspot, AR3664. That was followed up at 11.15 UTC time by the X1.5 out of that same complex Alpha Beta Delta Gamma sunspot. AR3664, and most recently we've seen an M8.7 solar flare that used to be a big deal and seems like no real big deal anymore, also generated from AR3664. Heading over to HMI Intensigram, we see AR3664 hanging in there. It looks like it'll be with us for another day or two takes about 12 days for a sunspot to transit the Earth-facing side of our solar disk. We see that AR3666 is just about gone around the limb, along with AR3663, which gave us some heck. We have new sunspots arising and being named here. Uh, we have AR3667, 7170, 72, 73, and 74 being just named. So together we have nine Earth-facing sunspots on the solar disk and several more are coming around the limb. Now we are also 
in a proton storm. We were coming out of the proton storm just as we had that large X flare, which pushed us right back into a proton storm. That usually means we're in a polar absorption event. NOAA's latest KP index breakdown from May 11th, 12th, and 13th, 2024 shows that all day today we'll be in heavy geomagnetic storms. They're thinking this might go down to a G2 or G3, which has not occurred. And they're seeing geomagnetic storms for the 12th. And then they're actually thinking that the X flare will only generate a G3 on May 13th with a KP7 mentioned. We'll head over to Go Solar Ultraviolet Imager, 195 angstroms, and we can see the M8.7 solar flare that popped off about 45 minutes ago. See it happen right there. And it's a long-term event. There's continuous activity out of that region. Also, I want you to see what's coming around the limb here. Those two or three large sunspots have broken up into several numerous sunspot groups and they will be named as they come around. These two already have, as we just saw. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the X 5.89 solar flare and the white particles are energy being pushed at our camera because the solar flare is moving so quickly. It's slamming energetic particles into Lasco C3, protons and electrons, which also means they're slamming into Earth. Now, that was a solar flare, an especially large chromass ejection. It's been a long time since we've seen the energetic particles hitting our camera this hard for this long of a period. All right, over to our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center. We are frying. We have radiation coming in the North Pole and the South Pole. And we also have flare after flare hitting just like that one right there. Probably the M8.7 solar flare. Look how long lasting that was over the Atlantic, moving over the Caribbean, really not letting up. And parts of the U.S. as well as parts of South America. Now look at all the radiation coming in the South Pole here. Unbelievable activity is all I can say. This is the latest from our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center here showing you that radiation is continuing to pour into the North and South Pole and we continue to be hit by very large solar flares. This was 2023 UTC time so right about four minutes ago. All right, over to Discover, taking a look at our solar wind speed and our density. You can see that we were really getting hit hard late yesterday. The plasma density has really come down and we're really below space weather levels, but the solar winds have actually gone from just under 700 kilometers per second up to where they are now, which is very, very close to 920 kilometers per second. 934.6 kilometers per second. So we're talking about some extremely strong solar winds. Now, we do have additional coronal mass ejections inbound from all the M and X flares. So that was just the first part of a four-day series, if you will. And that's so far. We could continue to have flaring for the next several days, which would, of course, extend the solar storm activity. Over to SDO HMI magnetogram image, we can see AR3664. Looks like it has another day or two that it could possibly spurt out another strong solar flare that would have an earth component especially since we're really hooked to this limb of our star i.e via geomagnetic connection now we do have these new sunspots that have been named and we do find that they seem to increase in intensity as they move to be earth facing this is a reverse polarity sunspot here 
black over white. It has been named. They say they're so rare. Well, they're far from rare. I'm sure it has to do with the poles or the magnetic poles of the sun starting to flip. The poles of the sun are supposed to do a complete flip either by year's end or very early next year. Now, that was STO. SOHO, on the other hand, has not been updated in what has now been 13 days. Nothing at NASA has been updated in 13 days. They must be in their bunkers, and they must not be telling us everything. This is a 13-day old picture here, and every single one of the SOHO pictures is 13 days old. Now, there's a chance that Soho went out 13 days ago, but why would they not be updating the Iswa spiral? I'm afraid they are gone. There's another 20 of these from the same day on the 30th with different angstroms. They are not going to update any Soho pictures, period. And just so we can throw up a little bit in our mouth, this has not been updated since the 30th either. This was the 4th and 5th, which never happened. And this is been the same model that's been up since the 30th they did have plasma impact this on the 10th but this was some slow moving plasma that again could not have been forecasted 12 13 days in advance uh, none of the cmes have been modeled on the goodard is with spiral and that's our go-to for where the cme is headed very very well unprofessional especially considering the taxpayer pays $84 billion to NASA as a yearly budget. God bless you and yours. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World. God bless.